Keith Burns has seen incredible success as one third of the hit trio Trick Pony. When the trio split and went their separate ways, Keith hooked up with Michelle Poe for the same kind of adrenaline driven fun loving entertainment. Today the duo is described as the Sonny and Cher of country and they are enjoying every minute of it. I am here today with Burns and Poe. How are you two? We're fantastic. How are you? <laughs> so good to see you. This is exciting because you two teamed up together and have a really unique, great, fun duo going on. I mean, a lot of people on Music Row have compared it to like Sonny and Cher of country music. What do you say to that? I say they're old. <laughs> no, I say we're not married. <laughs> that's the first there thing I said. There's two. Okay, so how would you describe yourself? No, that's that's pretty much dead on. I mean, we're we're like, like the country version of Sonny and Cher. We we kind of go back and forth and banter and cut each other down and have a good time. But uh, we're just like she said, we're just not together. Which camera's on? This one or this one? <laughs> we're not together. That's basically it. Is it, you know? But she's to be honest with you. And you got the scoop here. She's too old for me. <laughs> Listen to you guys. All right, let's totally don't talk about a woman's age. Let's move straight to the music because she does have an incredible voice. I mean, you've worked a long time in country music and done tours and out and sang background with Hank Jr. and Dirk Bentley as we were talking earlier. And of course, you were in the group Trick Pony yep. and, and did a lot of touring. So together you make a great combination and your voice on this record just sounds awesome. Thanks. The single, How Long Is Long Enough, which you co-wrote, right? I did uh, with a buddy of mine, Frankie Golden. Uh, just one weekend while she was out playing bass for Hank. So she wasn't in, usually she co-writes with me and, and most everything on the record. But uh, uh, she was out playing bass with Hank one weekend and a buddy of mine, Frankie Golden, came into town and we sat down and and wrote two things that are on the album, and this is one of them, and it was, uh, it's, it's our next single. Chosen for the next single. Yes. And I just, I love the the rawness and the, the just the texture and how the record sounds and your voice on it, and, and then Keith obviously in there with you on it. Talk a little bit about um, cutting and recording this record. Well, I love, I mean, I specialize in sappy, sad songs. So, because I, I feel them and I've been there enough times. <laughs> we can, right? Girls can get those. So I, I actually really enjoyed singing it. It's a well-written song and I, I really could wrap my, my heart and my emotions around it. So hopefully it shows. Yeah, it was one of those tunes as soon as, you know, we, uh, like I said, Frankie and I wrote two songs that weekend and it was one of those things that I just went, you know, this these are Burns and Post songs. And I said, and I just can't wait for Michelle to sing this, especially this one here. I said, I just know she's gonna knock this out of the park, and and uh, and she did, and, and I'm just I'm very proud of this record. You can bet on this, don't get no better than that. Yeah. Get in the frame of mind, have a good time. Take the road ahead and leave your kid behind. People are really grabbing and loving what you're doing and getting grasping on and I well we hope so you know I mean we're making friends and fans everywhere we go and uh, you know and you know in this business all you can really do is just what you do and if people like it great and if they don't you know uh, you certainly have known me long enough to know that that I, I'm not changing anything that <laughs> I do and Michelle's not changing anything we're just doing what we do and hopefully the the people will buy into it. and it's working and something else that's cool is you guys, it's not, I mean, it's different on every song. Uh, the last mm -hmm. single, you were the lead, and, and on this one, now Michelle is. So let's talk a little bit about that. How do you determine, obviously, I guess, the gender preference on the song? That works out co pretty cool, because yeah. you can sing any type of song. Yeah, well, this one could go either way, from a male perspective or female. But like I said, I just, I love singing the the hurtful, soulful songs. I just, I feel, I feel those. So I said, this one's mine. <laughs> and then you do a lot of duets together. I mean, oh, half the album, right? Yeah, almost half the record. In fact, half the, half the CD mm -hmm. are duets. Mm -hmm. I mean, legitimate True. Kenny and Dolly, Islands in the Stream type duets. So tell me how Album release date is set for uh, early October. So everybody, look forward to hearing the new single "How Long Is Long Enough," and we are here today on Inside Music Row with Burns and Poe. How long is long enough? 
With a new label home on Blue Steel Records, the duo is ready for bigger and better things. Keep an ear out for their latest Don't Get No Better Than That on radio stations everywhere. That's not all we've got for you on this week's show. We'll get reaction on the upcoming CMA Awards next, so don't go away.